Hey guys, uh, gonna do some instruction right now on some stuff you can work on at home uh, with pitching. Um, hopefully everybody's getting out there and able to play catch. Uh, when this thing ramps back up again and we're able to get on the fields, uh, we need arms to be ready. Uh, I think it's very important you guys get out there a couple times a week and throw. Uh, you don't need much. Uh, I remember when I was a kid, uh, I know a lot of you guys probably don't know what this is, but we had a clothesline out in the back where my mother used to hang the clothes to dry. We used to pin up the sheets and throw baseballs right into the sheets. So find a way. Um, Dad, you're home, you're not working, play catch with the boy. Uh, we'll get this all working together and be able to be ready when we step on the field. Um, so that's important. Another thing for you pitchers, make sure you're throwing all your pitchers, what pitches when you're playing catch. Right? Throw your change-ups when you're playing catch. Throw your breaking balls when you're playing catch. You younger guys, fastball change-up. Throw your two seamers. Um, but consistently work on your stuff so that you have a feel for it when you get out. And always try to locate, guys. Pick up targets. Play games with each other. Work around the targets. All right? One point for the head, two points uh, for the chest. All right? Go, go right at it and locate. Find ways to be able to get ready so you're prepared when you step on the mound. Um, a couple of non-throwing drills I want to go over real quick. For me, it's important to be balanced, guys. So one of the drills I like to do is we put the baseball right down on the ground, right here, right next to the, the rubber. Um, if you don't have a rubber there, just put it right in front of your toe, about six inches. You're going to come to your set position. We're going to bring our knee up and get balanced. We're going to go down, pick up the baseball, come right back up to our balance point. We'll do this a few times over and over again. Put it right back down. Come back up and get to your balance point. Try to hold it. Go back down, pick up the baseball, I went off balance, try to hold your balance point. All right, it's a good drill. Also, we can come in and practice just up and down, on top of the rubber, back over, on top of the rubber, back over, right through here, all right? If we wanna be able to do drills and be able to mimic our mechanics, grab a towel. Uh, grab, a, grab a towel from your mom and you say, Mom, I need a towel. She'll give you a towel. I'm sure this towel is all over the house. It's all you need. About a 12-inch towel just like this. We can go over our mechanics and do our throw. All right? So we're going to go to the drill where we're stepping up and over. Balance point. That was not balance. Balance point. Up and over. Back up. Break and throw. Try to stay balanced on our front leg. Again. Up. Over, staying balanced, break and throw. Okay, another drill we can do that was for our right leg as a right handed thrower. Uh, we can do it for our post leg. Okay, we start this way, have our knee facing forward. I break this way, break and throw, and be able to stay up on our post leg. So, again, right knee forward, I turn, I break, and I throw, and I try to stay up on my post leg. I'll do that one from the side, right here. Knee up, staying balanced. Break, oh, I fell off balance. Break and throw. Try to stay balanced on our post leg. Just some drills you guys can do without actually throwing a baseball. Be able to get yourselves ready for when we step on the field. Thanks.